We all love ourselves more than other people, but care more about their opinion than our own. What we do now echoes in eternity. The sayings of Marcus Aurelius are able to reveal the inexhaustible energy in everyone and teach how, with the help of simple thoughts, you can rule over yourself and lead your life. Do every act of your life as though it were the very last act of your life. A person's worth is measured by the worth of what he values. The soul becomes dyed with the color of its thoughts. The thing you think about determines the quality of your mind. Receive without conceit, release without struggle. You have power over your mind, not outside events. Realize this and you will find strength. We live only now. Everything else is either past or is unknown. A man must stand erect, not be kept erect by others. People are not disturbed by things, but by the views they take of them. Dig within, within is the wellspring of good, and it is always ready to bubble up if you just dig. Confine yourself to the present. Everything, a horse, a vine, is created for some duty. For what task then were you yourself created? Choose not to be harmed, and you won't feel harmed. Don't feel harmed, and you haven't been. When you arise in the morning, think of what a privilege it is to be alive, to think, to enjoy, to love. No man is happy who does not think so for himself. Death smiles at us all. All we can do is smile back. The happiness of your life depends upon the quality of your thoughts. What we cannot bear removes us from life. What remains can be born. Everything we hear is an opinion, not a fact. Everything we see is a perspective, not the truth. Humans have come into being for the sake of each other. So either teach them or learn to bear them. Be like the cliff against which the waves continually break, but it stands firm and tames the fury of the water around it. Waste no more time arguing about what a good man should be. Be one. Your days are numbered. Use them to throw open the windows of your soul to the sun. If you do not, the sun will soon set, and you with it. The best revenge is to be unlike him who performed the injury. The longer a man is lonely, the more he can draw on the influence of loneliness on him. It is important for every person to be able to remain alone and put up with himself in order to find inner peace. Do what you will. Even if you tear yourself apart, most people will continue doing the same things. It is not death that a man should fear, 
but he should fear never beginning to live. Our life is what our thoughts make it. Whenever you are about to find fault with someone, ask yourself the following question. What fault of mine most nearly resembles the one I am about to criticize? If it is not right, do not do it. If it is not true, do not say it. Very little is needed to make a happy life. It is all within yourself, in your way of thinking. Reject your sense of injury, and the injury itself disappears. The first rule is to keep an untroubled spirit. The second is to look things in the face and know them for what they are. Accept whatever comes to you woven in the pattern of your destiny, for what could more aptly fit your needs? How much more grievous are the consequences of anger than the causes of it? Do not act as if you were going to live 10,000 years. Death hangs over you while you live, while it is in your power. Be good. Here is a rule to remember in future. When anything tempts you to feel bitter, not this is misfortune, but to bear this worthily is good fortune. How much time he gains who does not look to see what his neighbor says or does or thinks, but only what he does himself to make it just and holy. The impediment to action advances action. What stands in the way becomes the way. It is in your power to withdraw yourself whenever you desire. Perfect tranquility within consists in the good ordering of the mind, the realm of your own. Do not indulge in dreams of having what you have not, but reckon up the chief of the blessings you do possess, and then thankfully remember how you would crave for them if they were not yours. If any man despises you, that is his problem. Your only concern should be in doing or saying anything deserving of contempt. Whoever does wrong, wrongs himself. Whoever does injustice, does it to himself, making himself evil. That which is really beautiful has no need of anything, not more than law, not more than truth, not more than benevolence or modesty. The memory of everything is very soon overwhelmed in time. Nowhere can man find a quieter or more untroubled retreat than in his own soul. Because a thing seems difficult for you, do not think it impossible for anyone to accomplish. No man can escape his destiny the next inquiry being how he may best live the time that he has to live. Regain your senses, call yourself back, and once again wake up. Now that you realize that only dreams are troubling you, view this reality as you view your dreams. Take full account of what excellencies you possess, and in gratitude remember how you would hanker after them if you had them not. Observe always that everything is the result of change, and get used to thinking that there is nothing nature loves so well 
as to change existing forms and make new ones like them. How ridiculous and unrealistic is the man who is astonished at anything that happens in life?